We've come to the time of the year when sand fishing in Sweden is really up on us. Are you in for some light gear sand fishing explosive strikes? You don't want to miss this. So, what is sand fishing for me? It's June, July, August in Sweden. Really fun fishing. The light gear, me and my friends are going out. Sunny days, I really like those sunny days for sand fishing. Explosive strikes, A really fun time. Today I'll be showing you some uh, lures from Storm that uh, I usually use when I go for sanders. Uh, it has been proven to work really well. I can show you the first example is the biggest size of uh, the 360 search bait. The search bait comes with the original head, so you can either use the original one or you can even rig it with a ball head if you want to fish it deeper. It pushes a lot of water, has ribbon on the side, has a really great movement in the water. We will also use some Largo Shad, which is a personal favorite of mine. Even on big perch and on sanders, this has been proven to work really well in this lake. You will see it out on the water. As I said, we will use lighter gear, almost the gear I use for, for perch fishing. So the, the strikes is going to be really hard. Uh, well, I don't want to waste any more time. Me and Jim is going to hit the water. Let's go! Closing in on the first stop of the day, the area we've been searching around now is a, is a hard bottom rocky area uh, with about 6 to 8 meters on the plateau. We have uh, deeper water around it, around 12 meters, so there, there is our first stop and first concentration to try to find the sanders. We're, I think the spawning is, is already done, so the bigger sanders are moving from the spawning areas to the free water and uh, we will try to the method we are going to use today is uh, first of all bounce the bottom with heavy heavy ball heads uh, and also try to count down the lures uh, and fish the middle water uh, in the afternoon uh, the plan is to go for the this really shallow plateaus maybe two three meters and even target some perch if, if they're hungry today uh, we have some uh, hodlers from Rapala with us to try out today, so that will be exciting. Uh, what do you think, Jimmy? What is your goal for today? <laughs> well, I hope uh, I can catch some big sander, personal best. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, I really that hope so. Nice. Yeah, a personal best for Jimmy would be would be awesome. So, a couple of more minutes, and we will get back to you with the, with our first cast. Let's go. So. What we basically do when I fish for sander, I'm using a, a super basic technique. As I explained to you, we search up the plateaus. In this case, we have six meter on the sonar. Just cast and let the lure, wait until the lure hits the bottom. I'm using a 30, 30 gram ball head, so I instantly feel when the lure is hitting the bottom. And I just, just wait a second and I'll just power reel it for like half a second. Pause, wait until you hit the bottom again. And just keep, keep on doing that until you will feel the strike. It's very common that you will, you will get the strike just after you will hit the bottom. And exactly in a minute when you are start to reel again, the sanders they pay attention of what bumps on the bottom and they come from from the bottom and strikes it and it's it's quite impressive how a, a small sander can make such a hard strikes so we are hooked up with the with the first sander of today ah, it feels quite good the strike was really hard it's on the on the 360 search bait, the big the big version. Oh, oh. yeah. 
<laughs> Six meter, and as the search bait was sinking, bam, we got a strike. <laughs> yeah. Well, the first sander of today on the 360 search bait. It's a quite decent one for to start with. We will hope to get to get to mama later on. <laughs> really, what an aggressive fish! Not the personal best, but <laughs> it's a sander. <laughs> yep. We just escaped escaped the bad weather around the corner <laughs> taking shelter behind the island here. And uh, Take the opportunity to make make some food. It's gonna be today we're serving pasta carbonara. It's good. We have to feed Jimmy because he he's get a temperature. <laughs> have you seen the commercial with the Snickers lady? <laughs> That's Jimmy when he's not eating. He's grumpy. So I have have to feed him some pasta. A quick and easy way when you're out in the boat is a is a small kitchen like this, a, a gasoline a jet boil kitchen. Boils up the water in 30, 30 seconds, and you you just add water in this little one, and you have a ready to go meal in two minutes. So we will take take a break and start to fish again. We have just picked up the fishing again after lunch. The wind is quite, still quite hard, but uh, it started to calm down. So I think we will have a, a, a pretty nice evening. Uh, we are back at one of the plateaus, uh, currently at six meters. Uh, I've been talking about these plateaus and the area we are fishing. Uh, we are using sonars to locate this area and also to locate a fish. A sonar is really important for us and especially in my own personal fishing. I can show you a quick here on the map view. Uh, here you have a typical plateau. Uh, seven meter on top and a deeper water on the edges and this is a typical place that we should seek the sanders. Also you have different kind of frequencies on a sonar. Here you have the side view image where you actually can see the left side and the right side from the boat and uh, you can even manage to to clear out some some fish and, and the shadows as you can see here you also have the traditional 2d view uh, where you can uh, see the bottom uh, the hardness of the bottom in different colors uh, in this case the yellow the yellow line is the is the hardest uh, color of the bottom as a, and you go down to red where <clears throat> where is a softer softer bottom hardness so yes Ooh. what a strike fuck <laughs> Oh, this is a decent one, I think. Yeah, this is a heavy fish. It might be a pike.
least I want to see her. Come on. I think it's I think it's a fight. Yeah, it's a fight. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. A really angry one. Whoop. I will not shake the net. Wrong species, but this is quite fun too on this light gear. <laughs> really aggressive and nice bike. Oh, she's bleeding. Oh. <laughs> well, of course, we always get some bonus pike when we are sand fishing. I switched to a medium size 360 search bait with an extra stinger, ball head just bouncing the bottom, pike, sander, perch, maybe a dolphin next. Let's go. I was hoping for the wind to calm down, but it doesn't look so good. <laughs> we once again we went for shelter because we had some big waves coming <laughs> coming in overboard. So, well, but an hour later we went back to the last to the last stop we made, and suddenly I striked a better sander, actually the biggest one for today. Oh. I will try to unhook it as fast as I can. It has totally swallowed. Look at this one. <laughs> the search bait is totally gone. Here's the hook. There we are. <laughs> Stinger. <laughs> oh. Yeah. This is a nice one. Nice sander. What a beautiful one. Well, the sun is about to go down. We're starting to get really tired. This day really had it all. We had sunny, sunny weather in the morning. Turned out to be storm and rain after lunch. Waves that were coming in over the side of the boat. A lot of small sanders, aggressive explosive strikes. And that's what <laughs> makes this kind of fishing so ridiculous. I'm totally in love with this with this summer fishing for sander me and Jimmy will start to pack our things together and head for the ramp uh, I hope you enjoyed the, um, this vlog and um, I hope you will manage to have the opportunity to go for some sander fishing uh, maybe some of the tips and tricks that we've been using through the day will help you out 
and uh, next vlog will uh, soon come out and uh, whoa, 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 whoa last last strike of the evening <laughs> Little baby. Whoa. And it's so bad hooked. <laughs> this little fellow. <laughs> A little baby one. Well, good night. See you next time.